Robot Monster was released on June 10th, 1953. An alien looking gorilla with some type of weird ass diving helmet actually wipes out the entire human species, except for six. So, he has to find a way to not fail his mission of completely wiping out the human species by trying to kill off these six known people. I really do not like this movie. I mean, it could be goofy, it's goofy enough, but it is not that good. Even for 1953, this thing never got a DVD release. And I can tell that due to the fact that the quality of this entire video is not HD. So, yeah, this film is terrible. It's kind of bad. It's, uh, it's really, really, like, very bad. I mean, the gorilla is not only looking absolutely stupid, even for the B-movie age, he's called a Roman. A Roman. It's kind of stupid name for uh, an alien species. They're not that intelligent. They're kind of stupid. And their devices are kind of weird. And really, this is how they wiped out the human species and all they do is just walk around? They don't even look that intimidating. They just look kind of stupid. And for one hour and one minute, this movie's not my time, unlike The Black Cat and the Raven, which were really pretty much, like, same time. And that's almost like a full feature-length film, so I recommend those over this movie. So... Yeah, it, this movie was pretty... Yeah, Robot Monster is just bad. It's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. You know, I it's pretty much in the terms of many people, harmless. It's just, what kind of man made this movie? I mean, the, the intro, you know, cinematic of the name Robot Monster is nothing more than just comic books. Um... And for a movie, uh, this thing never got a DVD release, and I could tell due to the fact of the weak-ass quality of this film. If it had a DVD release, this could have had the highest quality, but there is no high quality in this film, and it's pretty bad. Even the, even the monster costume looks bad. It's just a gorilla with a diving helmet with antennas. It's not even an alien. I mean, come on, Roman. That's that's that does not sound like an alien name. This is too goofy. And for a monster, <laughs> that kills and wipes out the entire human species. That we start off with that. We start off out of the blue here. I mean, this doesn't really become a serious film. And there's only there's only like like only an hour and one minute of this film, and it, it was like the most boring one hour and one minute of my life. So I don't recommend this film at all um but if you're here to play like i don't know the drinking game and stuff about cliches and horror movies even b movies maybe this movie's for you but other than that i'd rather wait until tomorrow and we'll see if this remake of a classic john carpenter film is worth it